and give them a call. Let's go to Norm in Orlando. Norm, you're on News Talk WDBO. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you very much for taking my call. I don't know if this would be considered a short sale, but I have a motorhome that I owe approximately $95,000 on. All right. And it's worth about $78,000. I have a bona fide offer for that amount. I've contacted the bank, and the bank is not willing to accept that. In fact, they said what they'll do if I quit, because I've never missed a payment, never nothing. Well, Norm, let me start by saying this. I have not heard any banks doing short sales on cars or motorhomes. So what you may be asking of the bank is so far out of the ordinary, it may be along the lines of impossible, but go ahead. Well, if I, I guess my question is, if I offer them the $78,000, i will still continue to pay the difference in monthly payments. I just don't have that bulk amount to pay it. Well, you, you, it, you would it, have to coordinate that because, remember, the bank has the title to your motorhome. Your buyer is not going to give you $78,000 without getting a clear title, and that would leave the bank striking a deal with you to give them, you would give the bank what, what I would call an unsecured promissory note. If okay. you can if you can strike that deal with the bank, then more power to you. The problem well, is, is that the banks are totally irrational and not reasonable. This might make perfect sense to you and me, and yet you can't get somebody at the bank to sign off on it. Okay, would they be able to, even if I offered them 78000 in a bona fide offer, and I said, okay, then go ahead and take the motor home, and they ended up selling it for a lot less, wouldn't the fact that I gave them an Absol- offer for that, 78? That would not be a defense to you. And you are right on, Norm. If you give them back the motorhome, they're going to sell it for 60, and now they're coming after you for 35. So I cannot recommend that course of action to you, Norm. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hey, Norm, best of luck to you. And again, sit down with a banker. Hopefully you can find somebody that's got the authority to strike this deal with you, Norm. Best of luck. I appreciate you calling.